What do you hear? Yanny. Laurel. I do not know how you hear Laurel. All I hear is Yanny. Okay, so when I play it, say like what you hear while it says it. You know what I mean? Yanny. Laurel. Yanny. Laurel. Yanny. Really? Laurel. I hear Yanny. 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 I don't know how. Yanny. That's funny. Oh, well. Well, I hear Yanny. And he hears Laurel. What are you hearing in the industry? Oh, what a great question. I was hoping we were going to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're hearing. Um, something to make you smarter. That's the goal of these conversations. Nationwide, in case you have not heard, or you've been living under a rock for the last month, Nationwide just announced that they are going to move to, they're going to move their exclusive agents to the independent agent channel starting in 2019 and 2020. So they are going to distribute their product entirely through the independent agent channel in the future or through the direct channel to consumers. So nationwide releasing their agents, isn't that old news? It is in a lot of ways. So we've known that a transition has been underway for quite some time. And we also learned about um, a big part of this at IACON last October when the Nationwide representative came out and talked about it. So we are no longer appointed exclusive agencies at Nationwide. That is not a model that's sustainable in the future. Will there be successions? Yes, there will be. People will then take over their father's agency or mom's agency or whatever it is. That will continue. All new appointments for Nationwide will happen in the independent channel. That's how we're moving forward. Okay, that's super exciting for IAs, obviously, but why would Nationwide do that? Why would they do that? That's a great question. Why would you change a model that's worked for a long time, that's propelled them in the state of Ohio to the third largest carrier, over a billion dollars in written premium and 6.6% .6 of the market share? So now, ultimately, what they're deciding is for those remaining 275 Ohio exclusive agencies, that they're gonna move them out in the independent agent channel. And what we've been told from the company is that it's a number of things. It's market dynamics, it's customer preferences, and it's their exclusive channel coming to the company asking for more freedom and a desire to move in more into the independent agent space. So what is the impact then with them releasing their agents? Is that good or bad for the independent agents? Let me try that again. So what is the impact then um, on the IA channel in the state of Ohio then? What does that look like for us? Well, it, it's, I think it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for independent agents to go to these 275 exclusive nationwide agents and either partner with them, work with them, bring them into your agency, be a peer to them, but help them navigate the independent agent channel. It truly is an opportunity to turn someone in who has traditionally been your competitor into someone that could be a part of your agency, could be a part of um, the, the good things that you're doing in your local community through the independent agent channel. So as a nationwide agent, I'm now, I'm out on my own for the first time. Super exciting. I'm super excited for the business opportunity. Where do I start? What do I do? <laughs> Great question. I, I would say call the OIA to start. You want to know your options. The OIA is an organization that is solely focused on the growth and the success of independent insurance agents. You, nationwide exclusive agent, are going to become an independent insurance agent. We have over 100 years of history of working on behalf of the Independent Agent Insurance Channel. And so we'd encourage you to come talk to us. Learn about your options. Learn about your options from your carrier appointments to your agency partnership op options to all of the business needs and services and products that you need to operate a successful independent insurance agency. Come see us. We'll help you through that process. Um, the what we've heard and the way we look at it is nationwide agencies are going to have multiple options. They'll be able to purchase their book and they can go completely independent. Um, they can, you know, they could partner with another independent insurance agency or they're going to possibly probably look at a network aggregator cluster or alliance in terms of how they're going to do business in the future. All I do would encourage you to understand and look at and review your options before you make any of those decisions. We've got 
tons of research, white papers, information, and we can provide advice and counsel to you as you move forward with your next business decision. That's awesome. So can you like edit in maybe Peyton Manning? So right I'm not good enough now? You really need a 6-8 yes. oh, yeah, maybe I need of to, the NFL? Right there and then nationwide is on your side. Is that good? Okay. Okay.